The FBI has worked on art theft cases, cultural property crimes, for many, many years. It far precedes the creation of the art crime team. In 2003, when the Baghdad Museum was looted, the U.S. government generally, and the FBI in particular, noted that there was a real need at that instant to have a, a rapid deployment set of uh, law enforcement personnel who could go in and know something about art, how to handle it, cultural property crime, and how to investigate it. Indeed, having a national investigative team has been very valuable in, uh, in the successful investigation and prosecution of these cultural property cases. Once a year, we bring them all to New York. And the nature of art crimes, cultural property crimes, is that they tend to be national and international. Thus, it's important for two reasons to get the agents to a single place once a year for training. Uh, first, to provide them with some background in the business of art and art handling, uh, conservation, um, art history, uh, analytical techniques, but also to allow them the opportunity to speak to each other about their ongoing cases. So I'm learning not only how other agents have, have worked these cases from start to finish and, and taken them to prosecution, um, but then I'm also learning um, from experts in the art world about authentication and curation, and both in terms of a, um, an art historical uh, perspective and a scientific perspective. There's a very profound cultural significance to these uh, works of art. Sometimes they're Native American artifacts that need to go back to their tribal owners. In some cases, they are masterpieces of art uh, that have come from private collections, and they go back to those private collections. For the last eight years, I've been the case agent for the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum robbery investigation. There were 13 works of art that were taken. There were 11 paintings, a, a beaker, and the finial off the Napoleonic flag. Uh, included in the, the 13 works of art was a Vermeer, which is one of only 35 Vermeers in existence. So that is an extremely valuable painting in and of itself, along with some Rembrandt, some Degas sketches. Art crime has a special allure for the public. It may be because so many of these major heists have been uh, visualized formally in the movies, and there's this glamour of Cary Grant or uh, Pierce Brosnan as the, the thief who has highly cultured and gorgeous and beautiful clothes and uh, moves in a very high social setting. The reality, of course, is quite different. They, they tend to be uh, burglars with no particular interest in art. These items that are, that are taken are, are part of our cultural heritage. And as such, it's, uh, it's important that we try and expend all available resources to get them back. <laughs>